Good afternoon, everybody. My name's Tracy. This is uh, this is my project for today. So we got the 30 foot gooseneck and the brakes on it. When I got it, they worked, but I think they need adjusted. If not, I'll have to order brake pads or backing plates. Just see how tore up everything is. But that is today's project. We're gonna get this sucker lifted up in the air, some jack stands under it, and we're gonna pull the wheels off and uh, see what we got going on under there. Well, it looks like the uh, redneck jacks worked there, so it lifted a ride up in the air. I don't know if you could hear that. I don't know if that's brakes dragging. This one seems like it's a little loose on the bearing. Might have to retighten it, set the tension on it. So uh, yeah, let's let's get to it. Hey. Okay. I know there should be a cotter key in here somewhere. Something in here locking it up. Where is it? I think I found it. That'll be nice to step in later. Clean up a little grease. So I can see what I'm doing. There it is. 
So if you've never done one of these, I haven't done too many myself, but uh, if you take a gander here, let me bring you in a little bit closer. Too close. Okay. So you're focused. Where'd it go? I lost it. What in the world? How did I lose it? Oh, right there. There's a little tab. It's hard to see with the grease on it, but it'll push in. And then see how loose this nut was? She needs a little more tension on her when I put her all back together. So you just spin that out. Get your uh, grease and grass covered screwdriver out. Right here, here, this is the doodad that locks that in place. It just has these two little ears, and when they line up on that castle nut, you just um, bend one over to keep the nut from backing off, and it only fits on there one way. If you look at this shaft, it has a flat spot. Then you get your, oh, it's not really good to drop this stuff, but we'll clean it up. You get your washer that holds everything out of there. And then, let's put you on this side. And then I think that this slide out. Try not to drop your bearing in the grass. That's your outer bearing. And your inner bearing's in there. As you can see, look at that grease. It doesn't look very good. <laughs> but the nice thing is these rotors, these brake pads, and this, uh, hmm, this brake pad don't look very good, actually. This side don't look bad. This side does not look very good at all. But I'm going to run those till we get new ones. This one's no good. Hmm. Well, I found the issue with this one. That's that's not not good. So you guys take a look down there. Sideways, upside down. There's a uh, no adjuster in there. No wonder why uh, they said this front axle brakes didn't work. Supposedly, this back axle was supposed to be replaced. So. Might just have to get some adjusters for that one. Not a big deal. And some brake shoes. Not that big of a deal. So let's tear apart the other side. You guys don't need to see all that. That was the boring th thing there. So we're going to take this side, put it back together a little bit, and then go back to the back side.
Same deal, pop everything out. See, that's what you don't want to happen. That's all right. We'll just clean her up and repack her and stick her back in there. Not a big deal. Okay, now this side I believe is new. It's got a newer tag in there, made in America. That's what I like to see. You know, these shoes on this one do not look bad. The drum looks pretty good itself. And uh, everything on this one looks good. We're going to be able to adjust this one. So, my dad has a, you know, a box in a garage that's just full of random, shouldn't say junk, but it's just full of random bugs, pull bolts, nuts, pieces, things. So we'll probably try to find a couple adjusters because they look like a pretty dang close to just a Chevrolet adjuster. If not, actually, I have an extra rear end down here for my S10. We'll, uh, we'll burn through it and see what we can find. So, on to that. All right, so next we gotta like, I guess you would call it set the preload on this uh, on this here nut for the bearing. Okay, so see if there's too much play in that. Still spins pretty free. There we go. Just gotta go just a little bit more there. And then bend this tab back outwards into that king, the king nut right there. So you bend that back, that locks it in place. Then, it has a little bit of play, but it won't back, has a little bit of play, but it won't back, back off of there. And everything feels pretty good but we need to tighten up this adjuster for the brakes a little more not a big deal kind of a pain in the butt though Bring you back here and show you what I'm doing. Okay. So, fillers can see there's these two slots back here. It reminds me just of an old Chevy truck. You just stick these in there and give her a spin. Using a screwdriver, and that's it.
quick. Ah, yep, they're tight. All right, so this axle, I was able to adjust the brakes without taking the hub assembly off, but there's a lot of play in there. So we're gonna take this castle nut, we're gonna give it a little bit of a turn to tighten it up there. So we gotta push the keeper back, like so. There she be. Mm, I see why it was like that. That to push back the keeper, push in. And I could take this back off there just a smidge. Huh. I see. Okay, so. Notice the sound of the brakes dragging a little bit. That's not the actual bearings, but we're going to agree some why we are here. <laughs> 